All right, so I'm about to buy a uh, very special Greyhound ticket here. New York to Los Angeles. Um, and we have to make sure to use the right reward here. Free ticket. All right, it's filming. All right, I don't, need to don't drop it. Listen, how does okay. I can do some adjusting here? There you go. Oh god, George's gonna have to get it all. Down. So hi, hi. <laughs> we are T Nathan and I. I don't have oh, wait a minute. I have a GoPro app. Nathan and I are taking a Greyhound. Oh Jesus! From New York to Los Angeles. But right now we're taking the very last. Uh, you know, train this to is not. This, yeah. You're gonna have to do this the again. The Greyhound is the longest in the country, the longest bus ride in the country. This is a singular trip. Singular! No transfers, Uno. one seat ride, New York to LA, 66 hours of fun. They're actually doing this It's fr It was a free ticket. Free! The Greyhound's reward system makes it very easy to get a free ticket. No one just gets to go to LA for free, okay? That's bullshit. Ow! Just right. so Jordan, be careful. It's really hard to get off. Yeah. <laughs> Don't break my windshield, please. Don't break the camera for the first yeah. 10 minutes of the trip. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Welcome to hell. Personally, for me, morale is very high. Uh, I don't know about you, Nathan. But my morale is always very high. Oh, should we introduce Gordon? And... Yeah. Oh, what? Yes. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Joy, you're going to love this. Our trip has mascots. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You got to be kidding me! So I'll go first. This is Gordon the Shark, and his bio says, You don't have to fear. Gordon is one of the friendliest squishmallows around. He loves helping others so much that one day he wants to start his own nonprofit. <laughs> okay. Mine is Violet. Violet is the bright spirited queen of the sea who has a passion for adventure and exploration. She loves to join Kai on his quest for sunken treasure and uses her degree in archaeology to identify where the treasure originated. I didn't know she had a degree. She has a degree in archaeology. Wow. Where's my battery at now? Like, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I see headlights coming. Oh. I see. That can't be the train already. It's... There's no way. There's the absolutely train. no what way. What time is it? Attention, please. 943. This is a boarding call. Holy sh no turning back now. I guess not. These are the nicest seats and the best leg room we're gonna get. We're gonna have for about the next 75 hours. <laughs> Sunny! Why are you here at 2.20 in the morning? <laughs> you guys are way early, it's 2.20. Yeah. I mean, you're doing it at 2.30 and you're not doing it until 3, so. I wish we could do a tappy tap. The park is closed. Oh. Enjoying your breakfast, Nathan? I'm enjoying it well. Did you enjoy it? Had a good we breakfast have. too. Okay, we're here at gate 68. There's a bus there. There's it's a bus there. Max wants me to meet and pay and take the train home. 710. So we're that supposed lady to have left. By was not our driver. Nope. So we're still here. So um, off to a rick rolling start here. We've got a driver. Mm -hmm. All right, bus 86902 will theoretically take us across the country. This part of the journey is really bad because it makes a million stops between New York and Our and side Philly. Hill. Yeah, so the first part's gonna be miserable. It's gonna feel like we're not going anywhere. Largest city in America. And we're on our, way, on our way to the second largest. And we're in New Jersey now. So, you know, bad start, but that's okay. <laughs> um, Violet and Gordon are really excited. <laughs> We're crossing the Delaware, but you cannot see anything. So we're leaving Philly after a kind of a tense 
40 minute stop. Yeah. Although we've consistently been about like 10 minutes late, which is not bad so far. Yeah. Um, but yeah, whole they didn't give us a reboarding ticket and then now they didn't we, tell us where to go. And we still don't have reboarding ticket. The announcements suggested that this bus was going to be leaving imminently, but it wasn't. Maybe it was a different section of this bus. Because apparently there are two vehicles running on this schedule. It's, it's all pretty confusing. Um, but we're leaving Philly. Next stop, Norristown, King, Prussia, E. <laughs> Why are we going down this road in a Greyhound bus? <laughs> New York to LA and we're just screwing around Norristown or Gulf Mills or wherever the heck we are. Where does Greyhound Park at? I'm going to the Norristown one but it's a park and ride. It's a park and it's ride? It's at King of Prussia. Huh? It's in King of Prussia. 170 West King of Prussia Road. This is it. This is the area. This isn't the station I got on at. So we've been circling the SEPTA station for a while. We're trying, we're, we gave the Giving directions to the driver to help her out to get to the actual Norristown King of Prussia station. Coming into Norristown with. Are they all waiting for us? Oh, jeez. Wow. Always when I'm about to go to sleep. Alright, leaving about 30, 37 minutes late. Oh, full for time! What? It's an old engine. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> I was excited to get a cinnamon pretzel at Auntie Anne's at the Sidling Hill yeah, restaurant. Sure that was really it. But we seem to have skipped it. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah, we skipped We skipped it. <laughs> Yeah, we just, just outright skipped the rest stop. <laughs> it's in the schedule too. It's the one rest stop on the entire trip. We just made a different rest stop. But she said we're only stopping here for 20 minutes, so we should still get to Pittsburgh with time to spare. Hopefully. <laughs> and it still has an Auntie Anne, so I can still get my pretzel. <laughs> yeah. So we're walking in Pittsburgh to a hotel because it'll have a clean bathroom in which we can brush our teeth. Oh, hi, Gordon. You're not the Gordon Violet. Hi, Violet. We, oh, sort of focus. We got dinner. We're gonna eat on the bus. And we're hoping the bus isn't gonna be that busy um, because we're now at night time, which means that we have to sleep time. Which means, which means that, that hopefully that we can get Rose to ourselves. Yeah, this time. but we have reboarding tickets. We finally got reboarding tickets <laughs> after a long struggle for yeah. reboarding tickets. Off from Pittsburgh. What time is it? Seven twenty-seven. What time were we supposed to leave? Seven o'clock. We are San's driver. Where's she going? We are pulled over on the side of the highway right now. No announcement, nothing. <laughs> Who knows what that was? <laughs> okay. Cambridge, Ohio. Better holding the fort. About 11 p.m. Columbus. Brexit. What time are we to out of here? Three, oh, I don't know. We got here how many minutes early? We got here like 10 minutes early. And we're due out of here. Probably about 20 that. minutes late. <laughs> Nathan, we're in the western part of the country, we officially. Are. Did you did you see? Wait, how do we get in? Is this a door? No. This thing is amazing. It's so big. I don't know. I didn't expect it to be this big. Yeah, it is big. <laughs> like it's giant. And we're hitting it right at the sort of sunrise. 
What a magical thing. This is us, right? Yeah. Officially made it back to the bus station with plenty of time to spare. Yep. <laughs> well done. This is Kansas City, Missouri. Here in Kansas City, Missouri, the bus will pause for one hour. Nathan, look, a car. It's not totally an apocalypse town. <laughs> this is so dead. This is insane. I mean, yeah, it's a Sunday, but like, I mean, come on. <laughs> Well, boys, if you thought Kansas City was dead, welcome to Topeka! Feeling stuff, I guess? Are we even legally allowed to have the bus be filled over here? The driver called it an emergency stop. This is not a stop. All right, I guess it's pretty cool. I, I feel like calling it an emergency stop is a little bit better. Oh, exactly. yeah. Sun sets over out of focus, Kansas. That's the name of where we are right now. Yeah, out of that's focus. the name of the town. If this video had a scratch and sniff element, you wouldn't like the smell. <laughs> I think someone might have used the bathroom. Oh, there it is. Welcome to Color for Colorado. You can't see it on this. We're out of Kansas. This is a horrible terminal. This is Denver. We're half an hour early. Picked up a lot of characters somehow. I feel somehow. like the clientele of the bus has gone downhill as if that's possible. But yeah, this is Denver. This feels like the first real city we've been in a really long time. Because it is the first real city <laughs> since Missouri. The high rate I'd say. Very fancy. <laughs> It was gonna go wrong. It was gonna go wrong. It was gonna go wrong. It was, it was always gonna go wrong. It was going well. It was going well. It was going well. It was gonna go wrong. It was gonna go wrong. They're probably not gonna be on the same bus. It was gonna go wrong. Well, the, the, well they have to. They have to move our stuff. It was gonna go wrong. Oh, we a couple. Of Damn hours. it. It was gonna happen. Morale was too high. <laughs> uh. The terminal closes at midnight, so they're locking. They're locking us in, Nathan. We're prisoners. Yeah. For a bit more context, uh, we just don't have a driver. The driver ran out of hours. Rescuing another bus, apparently, whatever that means. Nathan, tell me what we're listening to right now. We are listening to the Robert Spital Consort for Ten Winds to be it's... performed by the Emory University Wind Ensemble this March. It's come to this. It's, uh, it's 1.05. Two more hours. Got some paramedics come in and take someone away. Things are escalating here in Denver. <laughs> Feels like a formality at this point, but it's 3.35. There's still, still no here. bus. Still no bus. Apparently, it's 4.11. Apparently, like, when we got here, Nathan and I just left. left. Apparently, they announced, like, oh, for the bus that just got here, take all your stuff off. And so they took we our stuff to the them. back room. But the but security people aren't allowed to get it because the station is closed and only the security people are here and they're not legally allowed to get it. So if the bus comes before 5, if the bus leaves before 5, we, have to decide whether we, want we can't to get, get our, stuff. our stuff or go on the bus. And they'd say, like, oh, it'll be on the next one. But, but there's no tag on it and we just don't Yeah, mine doesn't have a tag because it was just a carry on. Um, so now we hope, now we have to hope that it gets delayed until 5, five. which seems like a possibility. Um, morale level? <laughs> Low. Yeah, Hello. thank you. <laughs> um, as we get closer to five o'clock, we get a little bit more relaxed. Hopefully it won't leave. I mean, there's no sign of it yet, so. We can't get in line until five o'clock. 
It's okay, ridiculous. Okay, get, get. What do you say? You gonna wait till five? Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Rat Toe, Rat Toe, New Mexico, Amtrak. Those passengers train out of Rat Toe, New Mexico. Going towards Chicago and LA. I'm call. Caught it. Are you saying it's the same bus? It's the same bus. So all of that was for nothing. So all of that was for nothing. It's the same bus that we. It's the same bus that we got off. <laughs> and 22 minutes late, but who cares? We have our stuff. <laughs> Whatever. So we've made a meal stop at Glenwood Springs for some reason, despite the fact that there's... We're so late, there's not even any kind of meal place here. It's just one convenience store. But man, that ride was beautiful. I mean, that was great. the advantage of being this late is that we do get to... We get both the mountains and we get Utah. I mean, that was boring. I mean, even this is just incredible. Grand Junction. He said he's gonna service it and it'll take an hour, but uh... The stop is scheduled for 25 minutes, so yeah. <laughs> Great boarding process here. Nathan, of all stops, why would we take a 30 minute stop here? Well, why would we take a 30 minute stop in the uh, river we were this morning? It's a Christmas miracle. We're at Ridgefield, which is scheduled to be five minutes. And you said five minutes. So we're actually doing a, I'm so happy. We're actually gonna leave here. Maybe oh, Greyhound, yeah. maybe Greyhound is, is, um, is absolved of its sins. Right, Nathan? Right, right, yeah, exactly. right, right? No, it's not. So this is Para One, at which we got 15 minutes when we're supposed to get half an hour. Sorry about that. Um, and it's dinner time, so that makes it even stranger. And there's actual stuff here, which makes it even stranger. I don't know how this driver's mind works, but here's the bus. There are, there are cows over there, and uh, next stop is Cedar City. All right, about 25 minutes later, we're at Cedar City. Um, the driver left someone behind at Parowan because we left a minute early, which is really bad. This is just, I'm just speechless with that kind of behavior. I mean, but yeah, we're here for only we're here for very little time, but it's just, this trip just gets getting crazier and crazier. Okay, so we're in St. George for five Utah. minutes. Yep. Nathan, what did you just find out? So it looks like they're running another section of 1675 that's roughly on time from uh, Las Vegas to LA. So hopefully they'll run us all the way through. We seem to think they will. Right. Um, but the tracker now looks like we're <laughs> sort of close to on time, which is just not yeah. Yeah. really true. So yeah. But oh, you know what it does mean? If we do continue to LA, we won't get slammed in Vegas. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully but I think a lot of people on this bus are going Things aren't so messed up that we'll get slammed with a different buses group of people. Right. Yeah, I just feel like yeah. Greyhound is just totally screwed up right now. Yeah. I mean, but, kind of perpetually. Yeah. But Las Vegas is the next stop and it's actually going to be a real city, which I'm excited for. The first real city since Denver. Since Denver. Well, we know we all know how well that went. I know, I know. So hopefully Vegas treats us a bit better. That 1675 that left was 1675. <laughs> and so now we have to get a new ticket. We have to get our stuff. Yeah, we have to get our stuff. We have to get all our stuff. This is insane. About 9 p.m. now. They say they're gonna put us on a 1.35 a.m. trip. All right, so let's explain the situation. We so Greyhound has failed us. We are not going to take 1675 from New York to LA. It's impossible. To 1675 has ended. We are now booked it's for not, schedule. It's actually still going, but well, yeah, technically, <laughs> we're now booked for schedule 6001, Las Vegas to Los Angeles. And since we've failed, since we can't take 1675 anymore, we're gonna get off in San Bernardino and, and take the, the rivers, take the, because. 
we were trying to ride all of Metrolink in LA, and... And 1675 is, is, is deceased. Yeah, so, so. like, <laughs> whatever. Um, so in that sense, I guess we failed the mission, but also but, Greyhound failed us. But also, we're getting... Like, we would have raced out to Riverside anyway tomorrow morning. Yeah, so right. To see Las Vegas. I know. We get Riverside four hours in Vegas. So. Hey, Nathan. Hi. I'm getting a bit of <laughs> sensory overload. <laughs> The mishaps of this trip have sort of worked to our favor. We got the Rocky during the daytime, which wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. We weren't supposed to be able to spend four hours here. Yeah. And we weren't supposed to be able to do the Riverside line the same day that we get in. Yeah. So. Things are seemingly going well, knock on wood. Yeah. I still so can't get over this. What is this? is ridiculous. Wait to cross 4th Street. Wait to cross 4th Street. Look, they have that thing. Wait, yeah. The sign is on to cross 4th Street. The sign is on. Yes, sir. Please. Oh. Nathan. Hi. Nathan, look, it's the Eiffel Tower. Approaching. Paris. We're in Paris. Barbas. Wow. Bellagio. That's not Cosmopolitan. The <laughs> <Paris> <laughs> kind of okay. Man, it never fails to surprise you, does it? <laughs> the whole the whole aesthetic of everything. Nathan, we've made no progress. We're still in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. All right, we're on the bus, so we're gonna take it to San Bernardino. Hi, we're on a delayed San Bernardino line train, unrelated to the Riverside line train we took after our Greyhound trip. So we've had time to ruminate, although our thoughts haven't changed that much. Basically, Greyhound has no sense of treating its passengers well. I mean, and, and like, it's one thing to be late a lot. I mean, it's there's not there's not a lot they can do there. Bus the Amtrak's late a lot. Yeah. But it's a whole other thing to just treat people the way that they treat people. And like, I'm not mad that we got late, that we got so late. It's just the way they treat us along the way that's really... And, and it, you know, we did it for fun, but a lot of people aren't doing it for fun. They're actually trying to get somewhere. Um, so... It'd be nice if they were treated like people along the way. Even just thinking about it now, it's been we have, days. We have trouble so going, I have trouble going into a gas station now. I know. Yeah. Um, Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks. Adventure. Uh, and if any, if there are any Greyhound people and or politicians out there, there's a lot to be done. Yeah. Gordon, we're about to fly back to Philadelphia. Is that cheating? Should we have taken Greyhound? Mm -mm -mm -mm.